Hi guys, it's great to see you. My name is Joelle and I'll be taking you through a vinyasa class today. Uh, there'll be a little bit of everything in this class, so the focus will be on getting some length through the spine, uh, opening through the shoulders, and adding a few standing postures that require a bit more balance. And as always with my classes, please uh, take what works for you and leave what doesn't. So you can always take a rest, come back to child's pose, go for the modifications, and, and please, if you need to, use blocks. So I tend not to practice with blocks in these videos, but if you want to grab some, you're more than welcome. And otherwise, let's just have a great time. So let's get started. We're going to begin today in child's pose. So coming onto the mat with the toes together at the back of the mat. Knees are nice and wide, so really get some space between those knees. Toes come together at the back of the mat, and then we bring the chest between the thighs, lowering the head all the way down so that our forehead is resting on the mat. We release all tension through the arms and through the fingers, so everything is soft and loose. And maybe you choose to close down the eyes here and just settling in to our practice. So really arriving on the mat. And we do this in a few ways. So one way we can really arrive is just by starting to notice our natural breath without changing anything. Just noticing the breath as it enters the lungs, fills the lungs. And as the belly relaxes, and the breath leaves the lungs. And just acknowledging how that breath is today. So is it smooth? Is it shallow? And once you've really tuned in to the pace and sound of the breath, See if you can start to smooth that breath out. So maybe seeing if you can lengthen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Getting in and out through the nose. As the breath starts to develop this smooth, even quality, we can turn our attention to the mind. Just notice any thoughts coming in and out as you spend these first few moments here arriving. And it's very normal throughout class that the mind will wander. See if you can come back to the breath when this happens. So just coming back to the rise and fall of the breath. Inhalation followed by the exhalation. And just noticing that ebb and flow just like a wave. And from here, let's see if we can add a little bit of length to that breath. So we're getting a longer breath here, a slower breath. We'll take two more of the longest, slowest breaths that you can. Once you've completed that second exhale, we'll take a breath together. So emptying the lungs and then inhale through the nose, opening the mouth and sighing it out. We'll take one more. 
Exhale it out. Maybe gently starting to roll across the forehead. Maybe gently starting to get some movement in the fingers. Just waking up that body. And from here, we'll start to extend the arms and get some activity in those arms. So coming on to the pads of the fingers, pressing the finger pads into the mat and getting length so you feel a nice stretch all the way from under your armpit into those muscles in the upper back, around the shoulders, and making sure that the shoulders aren't drawing up towards the ears. This doesn't have to be static, so you can add a little bit of movement to this if that feels good. Continuing to breathe in and out through the nose. I'll take one more breath. On your next inhale, we'll look up and we'll start to walk the hands over to the right. So taking a side stretch here, walking the hands over and then coming down, forehead to the mat. You can always place a block under the forehead to bring the floor a little bit closer. And we're focusing on that left side body, so feeling a nice stretch all the way through that armpit, down the side body. Maybe drawing the hip on the left side towards the floor to intensify that stretch a bit. One more breath here. And full exhale. On your next inhale, lifting up and then walking the hands over to the left side here. So taking a stretch all down the right side of the body. Again, option to have a block under the forehead. And maybe this side is totally different. Our bodies are not symmetrical, so if you can't go as far or as deep, that's very normal. Just seeing if you can breathe into those spaces of tension or tightness. Maybe rolling that right hip toward the floor. We've got one more breath here. And on the inhale, we'll lift the gaze and walk the hands back to center. And we'll come up into tabletop. So in tabletop, our hands are directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. And we're drawing the belly in toward the spine. Now we've got some wrist warm-ups to do here. So with our hands directly underneath the shoulders, we'll just start to rotate in a circular motion. So we're coming lean, leaning forward over those wrists so you feel a bit of stretch. Bringing the chest forward, going nice and slow here, and then we'll switch directions. We're just getting some warm up into those wrists. We spend a lot of time on our wrists, particularly in vinyasa yoga. So we want to make sure that we're doing those wrists justice by giving them a nice warm up. And then very slowly coming back to center. This time we'll turn the hands so that the fingers are facing the outer edges of the mat. And we'll just gently rock side to side, maybe taking some circles here. Making sure to continue to breathe in and out through the nose. Nice smooth breaths. And switching directions. And then from here, we'll come back to center and we'll turn the hands so that they're facing, the fingertips are facing the knees. So this is going to provide a lot deeper stretch for the forearm and for the wrist and we'll rock gently back and forth pressing into the pads of the fingers maybe taking some figure eights so starting to move in a way that feels good for you if you find any discomfort in this then just back off the slow little movements just working into those wrists one more breath here. Great work. And then from here, we're going to take the hands and we're going to turn them so that our palms are facing up. And we'll just take a few open and closing movements with those fingers. So we're closing, squeezing the hand and then laying the fingers flat. Got two more. And sit back on the heels and give those wrists a little shake. Maybe they feel a bit warmer now, hopefully. Great work. And then we'll come back to tabletop. And taking some cat-cow here, inhale. We'll start to lift the gaze. 
collarbones lift. Exhale, drawing the belly and dropping the crown of the head. Inhale, warming up through that spine. You may have done cat cow hundreds of times before, but see if you can really tune in to what's happening in this movement and how the spine is moving. So letting the breath guide the movement rather than just moving in a way that you always do when you come to this. See if you can find something maybe novel or different this time in your cat cow. And you could also start to take some different movement here. So maybe we're bringing the knees a little bit wider apart and we're starting to work into the hips. Maybe some hip circles. Maybe we're bringing the chest down toward the floor. This is where we get to be intuitive and move in a way that we like. Getting out some of those cracks. I always have cracks and cracks in my knees and <laughs> my wrists. I'll take two more breaths in your cat cow. And we'll come back to stillness when you've completed that second breath. From here, we'll press gently into that left hand and we'll lift the right arm to the sky. Inhale, exhale. We start to reach and thread that right hand through, coming down to our right ear and right shoulder. Inhale, back up to the sky. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale, coming into a shoulder stretch here. So we're going to rest that right shoulder on the floor. Right ear comes to the floor. And seeing what's happening with the hip. So if we're dropping that right hip down, see if you can square the hips by lifting that right hip. So hips are even. And maybe even taking that left arm forward. So one option is to take the fingers forward. Or you can take a bind here. Opening up through that left shoulder, gently t turning the chest open to the left side. Got one more breath. And if you've got the bind, gently releasing that, placing the left hand back down on the mat, pressing through that hand. Inhale, right arm to the sky. And exhale. We'll take the other side. So pressing into the right hand this time. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Breathe some space. Exhale. Threading the needle, coming down to the left ear. Inhale. Exhale. Moving first with the breath, then adding movement. And exhale, resting down on that left ear, left shoulder. Checking in with the hips. And then thinking about that right arm. So either reaching the arm forward and starting to rotate. <laughs> or taking that right arm behind the back and finding a bind here. Opening through that right shoulder. Two more breaths. And releasing that, bringing that right arm all the way back up, pressing through right palm. Inhale, left arm to the sky and exhale. Taking some cat-cow here, just to reset. So drawing the belly in, lifting the gaze, and then we drop the chin to chest. Inhale. One more time. And from here, we'll take puppy pose. So coming back to neutral spine, we'll walk the hands out. Keeping the hips above the knees, drawing the forehead to the floor. So it might feel good to put a block under the forehead here, but just working into creating some space in the shoulders. If it feels really tight through the shoulders, you can bring the hands wider. So just play around until you find comfort here. Any tension in the neck, place that block under the forehead or rolled up blanket is fine as well. We got one more breath. And gently starting to walk the hands back, coming back into tabletop. From here, we'll start to tuck the toes and we'll take our first downward dog. So pressing the hips up to the sky, finding your downward dog. Maybe doing some rituals here that you're used to. So if you pedal through your feet, go ahead and do that. Maybe you're rolling from side to side, lifting the hips, 
just warming up your dog. One more breath here before we find stillness all together. Downward facing dog. So we're fully spreading through that entire palm, pressing into the pads of the fingers like you're almost gripping the mat. We're thinking of gently pressing the chest towards the thighs as we lift the hips as high as we can. Perfectly fine to keep a deep bend in those knees. But we're energetically thinking of drawing the heels to the floor. So it doesn't matter if they touch, but we want to think of length through the back of the leg. We've got one more breath here. Look to the top of the mat. On your next inhale, step all the way up to the top. And we'll take a halfway lift here. Inhale, draw the collarbones forward. Shoulder blades come down the back. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Here we'll take a forward fold, so maybe ragdoll. Grabbing opposite elbows. And we'll just let that head hang heavy toward the floor. Maybe even laying the belly onto the thighs. Keeping a deep bend in the knees. Maybe swaying side to side, shaking the head no, nodding the head yes. Loosening up through the neck. On your next inhale, hands come to shins. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Fold forward for Uttanasana. Bend through the knees, press through the feet. Inhale all the way, arms up to the sky. Palms come to touch. And we exhale, hands come to heart center. Standing in Tadasana, so really feeling into those feet. Thinking of lifting those inner and outer arches so we are rooted through our feet. Kneecaps lifting up towards the thighs, tailbone draws down to the floor. Lifted through the belly and our collarbones are lifted, shoulders away from the ears. On your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms high. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, and we fold forward. We'll take the right foot and step it all the way back. So right foot comes to the back of the mat, and we drop the knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up. We've got low lunge here. So right away, switching on that right glute. Drawing in the belly. We think of this gentle scissoring action with the legs. We draw the right hip back as we draw the left hip forward. Maybe arms are raising high. We draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, plant the hands, and we step back into plank. So holding here in plank, think of a long line of energy coming from the whole crown of the head all the way down through the heels. Drawing the belly in. I'll say that a lot. <laughs> we want to completely engage the core. And then we'll slowly drop the knees and we'll shift the weight forward. So our chest comes forward of the thumbs and we lower down all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes, pressing into the tops of the feet, hands slide back. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale. Two more. Deep breath in. Using the muscles in the back rather than the hands. One more time. And exhale, pressing back through tabletop and finding downward facing dog. And looking to the top of the mat, this time we'll step the right foot to the top. Untuck the back toes, reach the arms high, inhale. Low lunge, switching on left glute this time. Maybe opening through the chest, so option to cactus the arms, lift the chest towards the sky. Taking a gentle back bend here. One more breath. On the exhale, drop the hands back to the floor. And we'll take your vinyasa, so stepping right foot back into plank, dropping to the knees, lowering down all the way to the floor, chaturanga. This time we'll take um, wide cobra, <laughs> so coming to the outside edges of the mat with the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest. Bit more space here. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more time, breath in. And we exhale, hands slide back along the body, coming back through tabletop, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat, step all the way up. Halfway lift on the inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, fold forward for Uttanasana. 
Taking a deeper forward fold here, so option to pistol grip the toes. Inhale for length in the spine and exhale, fold forward. So you can stay here if you like. If this is too much, you can just take your rag doll as we did in the first round. Thinking of drawing the crown of the head to the floor. One more breath. And on our inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward, bend through the knees, sweep the arms high, breath into the sky. Right away, exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. Exhale. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And we fold forward. Right foot steps back, dropping the back knee down. And tuck the toes high lunge, low lunge rather. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, circle the arms, and we'll do that one more time. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. From here, we'll take the right hand, we'll plant that on the floor, untuck the toes, and take a simple twist here. One breath. And exhale, circle that arm all the way to the floor, and step back for your vinyasa. Maybe this time, lowering down chaturanga, so without dropping the knees. And then we'll flip to the tops of the feet, coming up for upward facing dog. Exhale for down for face. Exhale for downward facing dog. So option there, you don't have to take the full vinyasa. You can keep with your cobra, and that's perfectly fine to do cobra and then find downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. We'll step the right foot up this time. Untuck the back toes. Inhale. Exhale, open the chest. Circle the arms. Breath in. Exhale, circle. And then we plant left hand. Reach for the sky. Inhale. Simple twist. And one breath. And we exhale, finding our vinyasa. So your vinyasa, maybe dropping the knees, maybe taking cobra, and then pressing through tabletop, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. Step all the way up. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold forward. This time, reach the arms behind the back. Interlace the fingers. And we'll start to draw the arms over the head for a deeper forward fold here, opening through the shoulders. Maybe gently swaying side to side. One more breath. And when you've completed your exhale, gently release the hands. Hands come to shins. Ardha Uttanasana. And we fold forward Uttanasana. Bend through the knees. Sweep the arms high. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward all the way to the floor. Halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Let's take a full vinyasa here. Downward dog is where we meet. Left leg lifts all the way to the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Knee to nose one more time. Inhale. Three-legged dog. And then we'll bend into that right knee and start to cross the left leg over that right knee into this sort of figure four shape with the legs and we'll press back. So it's a modified downward dog. Getting a stretch through that outer left hip. One more breath. On the inhale, we'll bring that leg back up high. Sweep it to the sky. Exhale, step between the hands and coming into high lunge. So find a leg position to start, and then we add the arms, sweeping the arms to the sky. Three-legged dog. That's not right. High lunge. <laughs> We're high on the ball of the back foot. And we want to think of drawing the left hip back, gently drawing the right hip forward. Lifting the chest. Drawing the belly in. One more breath here. And then we'll open up warrior two. So we spin the back foot so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. And we sink into that front thigh. So think of this kind of tracking of knee over ankle. And knee is tracking with the big toe as well. Extend through the arms. Gazing over that middle finger. We'll flip and reverse the warrior. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Flip and reverse. And exhale. 
Draw the hands towards the sky as you turn the left toes in. Hands come high. And we'll start to fold forward. So exhale, folding forward. So think of toes in, heels slightly out. And just drawing the crown of the head to the floor here. Halfway lift, inhale. Flatten through the spine and exhale, fold forward. Got one more like that. Inhale for length and exhale, fold forward. Feeling a nice stretch through the hamstrings. One more breath here. And we'll bend through the knees. Hands come to hips and come all the way up high. From here, we'll turn the right toes out. So finding warrior two on this side. So settling in. Again, watching that knee, making sure it's tracking over that ankle. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Windmill the arms all the way to the floor. And take your vinyasa. So stepping back here, finding your option in your vinyasa. And downward facing dog. Staying with the left leg, we'll lift it high to the sky. Three-legged dog. Staying here. And then we'll bring that knee in to the nose. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Inhale. And we'll bend into that right knee and start to cross the left ankle over right knee. So we're in this figure four again on this side. Pressing into those hands. We've got one more breath here. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. And we've got high lunge here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Opening through the chest, inhale. Exhale, circle the arms. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Opening up warrior two. So spinning that back foot parallel with the short edge of the mat, sinking the hips. One breath. Flip in reverse, inhale, exhale, one more time, reversing that warrior, exhale, toes start to turn in, toes in, heels out, inhale, hands come high, exhale, fold forward. Maybe this time taking hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers and starting to draw the arms overhead. Trying to keep the palms together. One more breath. Bending the knees, hands come to hips. Inhale all the way up. Right toes turn out. Warrior two on this side. Sinking those hips. Flip the palm reverse. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Flip the palm. And we'll move the arms all the way to the floor. And we'll take your vinyasa. Great work. One breath here. And we'll raise the right leg this time. Inhale. Three-legged dog, knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. And you know where we're going? We're going to bend into that left knee, cross the right ankle over, and we press the hips back. So we get a nice stretch through the outer right hip. Two breaths here. Really pressing into those palms. Pressing into the pads of the fingers. On the inhale, we'll draw the leg to the sky. And we'll step the foot between the hands. High lunge. Inhale. Sweep the arms high. This time we'll draw the hands behind the back and either taking prayer, so we bring the palms together, or you can just grab opposite elbows, lifting the chest. Two more breaths. Great job, guys. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Opening it up, warrior two. Flip and reverse the palm. And exhale. One more time. Exhale. Toes turn in, breath in, and we fold forward all the way to the floor. So you know your options here. You can either start to walk the hands through the legs, bringing the crown of the head to the floor. You can stay up higher if you like. Lots of options. 
One more breath. Wherever you are. And then hands come to hips. We'll bend through the knees. Inhale. Standing tall. Left toes turn out. Warrior two. Really pressing into the back edge. Sorry, the back outer edge of the foot. Flip the palm. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Breath in. Windmill arms to the floor and we vinyasa. And we meet in downward facing dog. Right away, right lift legs to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Knee to nose. Bring it all the way up, bending into that left leg. We cross the right leg over left knee and we press the hips back. One more breath. On the inhale, left leg, right leg rather reaches high, three-legged dog. Step between the hands and we come up for high lunge. Inhale. Again, finding those options with the arms. So prayer or grabbing opposite elbows. Lifting the collarbones to the sky, draw the belly in. If you have any issues with the low back, any tension, you can bend that back knee. One more breath. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, opening it up, warrior two. Flip the palm. And exhale. One more time, reverse. Exhale, hands come high, toes turn in, heels out. Exhale, fold forward. This time, we'll come up onto the fingertips, so flatten the spine. And then we'll plant the left hand, reach the right arm to the sky. Inhale, and exhale. Left hand, inhale, exhale. One more time, each side. Exhale, last one. Open through the chest. Bending through the knees, hands come to hips. Breath in. Left toes turn out. Warrior two. Flip the palm. Reverse your warrior. One more time. And vinyasa. Taking your vinyasa here. Stepping back. Downward dog is where we meet. All right. We're going to run through that a little bit faster so we know the sequence. We're going to breathe and move a little bit faster. So if at any point it becomes too intense, just come back to child's pose, take a breath and then rejoin. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, taking that left foot across right ankle, right knee rather. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, step between the hands, high lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Breath in, exhale, opening it up, warrior two. Flip and reverse your palm. Breath in, exhale, back to warrior two. Toes turn in, palms come to touch. Inhale, exhale straight away to warrior two on the other side. So no forward fold this time. Inhale, flip the palm. And windmill the arms all the way to the floor. Find your vinyasa here. Breath in. And we meet in downward facing dog, staying with the left leg. Three-legged dog, inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Right away, inhale, sitting back, crossing a leg over. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step it through. High lunge, reach the arms high. Open it up for warrior two. Flip the palm in reverse, reaching down that leg. Exhale, back to warrior two. Toes turn in, heels turn out. Inhale, gaze to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, other side. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill arms to the floor and take your vinyasa. We have one more leg to go. Here we go, left leg lifts, right leg lifts rather. Inhale, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, sitting back. Press through the hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands, coming up to high lunge. Inhale, open it up, warrior two. Flip the palm and reverse. Hands come high, breath in, toes turn in. 
and toes turn out to the left. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa. Stepping back and finding your flow, maybe dropping to the knees if you need to. Cobra or upward dog. <laughs> Downward dog is where we meet. Staying with that right leg, inhale to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Right away, crossing over. Finding that stretch for the hip. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Coming up to high lunge, breath in. Switching on left glute, open it up, warrior two. Flip the palm. Exhale, back to warrior two. Toes turn in, palms touch, gaze is high. Exhale, warrior two. Flip and reverse, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Great job. You've got this. And we meet in downward facing dog. Staying here for a few breaths. If you need to take child's pose, please feel free to do so. On your next exhale, let all the air out. Breath in through the nose. Open the mouth side out. One more. Inhale. Look to the top of your mat. Step all the way up. Halfway lift. And we fold forward. Bend the knees, sweep the arms high. Inhale. And hands come to heart center on the exhale. My mat has moved, so I'm gonna readjust myself here just so I don't come completely off camera. <laughs> All right, so our second series, series B, we're going to stand with feet shoulder width distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. And then from here, we'll swing the arms towards the floor, sweep them low and bring it into Utkatasana, so chair pose. So in chair pose, you wanna think of some important action. So we're really sitting the weight back so we could almost lift the toes. We wanna draw the belly in and think of bringing the hip points towards the lower ribs. Shoulders away from the ears. This is strong, so see what you can do. <laughs> One more breath here. Excellent, hand come to heart center. Let's transfer the weight into the right foot and lift the left knee, inhale all the way to the chest, finding your balance here spreading through the toes of the standing leg. This might be enough for you. And if that's the case, that's totally fine. But if you want more, we can take the right hand to the outside of left knee and we can start to twist. So lifting through the chest, twisting through the belly and then adding the lift through the chest and the twist. If you want, you can grab the outer edge of that left foot and start to extend the leg. So lots of options here but it's perfectly fine to stay here or just stay lifting that knee to the chest. We've got one more breath. And we'll bring the arms back up high. Point through that standing leg, so really point the toe. Sorry, through that extended leg rather. Point the toe, see how high you can lift that leg. And then we'll swing it back. So bringing that leg through like a pendulum, we swing it back to warrior three. Ooh. <laughs> That's the challenge. We've got a slight bend in that standing leg and we're finding warrior three here. Option to take the arms back. You've got this. One more breath. And we fold forward into standing splits. Not quite finished with that leg yet. <laughs> so in standing splits, it's not so much about doing the splits, it's really not, but it's about working in to the left glute and raising that leg to the sky. So pointing through the leg, seeing how straight and strong you can make it, how much you can reach that leg to the sky by engaging the glutes and keeping the hips squared. So try not to twist and open up through the hips, but keep that left hip point drawing toward the mat. Continue drawing the crown of the head to the floor. We've got one more breath here. And then we'll slowly start to release that left leg to the floor and we'll find pyramid here. So we want a slightly shorter stance. So walking that, those feet into a position that feels good for you. So back foot is 45 degrees and we're pressing into the big toe of the front foot. Let's lift 
Here you can have blocks if you like. Lift the chest and then we'll fold forward. So we're thinking length in the spine. So rather than just collapsing over that leg, think of length through the spine before we then fold forward. Got one more breath. Great job, slightly bending into that right knee. We'll take a big step back. So we're finding runner's lunge here. And we're sinking those hips toward the floor. So we get a nice stretch through the front of the left hip and walking those toes out to the right. We're gonna sink down into lizard lunge, well done. <laughs> we have a few options. So you can turn the toes out to the right and that might feel like it gives you a little bit more opening through the hip. There's also the option to place the hand on the knee and start to twist the chest open. But if you'd like, you can also just stay here and that might be enough intensity for you. So taking some nice, smooth, slow breaths. Really feeling into those hips. And we'll release that back to center. Inhale, bring the, bringing that arm to the floor, tuck the back toes, and we'll step back and take a vinyasa here. Meeting in downward facing dog. Looking to the top of your mat, we'll step all the way up. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, and we fold forward. Bending through the knees, sweep the arms high, inhale into your Utkatasana. We've been here before, so just going through some of those cues, we want weight in the heels. We want to think of drawing our ribs to hips tailbone drawing down toward the floor, shoulders away from those ears. You've got this, two more breaths. A little bit lower maybe. And bringing hands to heart center, let's transfer the weight into the left foot and lift the knee all the way up to the chest. Spreading through the toes of the standing leg. Great work. And so from here we're going to take the twist, so left hand comes to outside of right knee, and maybe we're just staying here today, and if that's the case, that's totally fine. So reaching the right arm back, or we can grab the outer edge of that foot and start to extend. And maybe, I'm probably not there today, but looking over that right shoulder. So trying to open through the chest and shoulder. We've got one more breath. And gently bringing that leg back in if you've got it extended. And from here, we'll come up to center. Inhale, reach the arms high and start to point through that toe of the right leg. So really reaching that leg high. One more breath here. Hands come to heart center on the exhale and we'll pendulum swing that leg through, going for warrior three. So hands at heart center, really pressing through the back foot like you're pressing the wall away. Maybe arms reach back. One more breath. And on the next exhale, we'll start to draw the hands to the floor, standing splits. So we want to think of lifting that right leg to the sky, squeezing the glute of the right leg and trying to keep the hips square. Crown of the head draws to the floor. You've got this. One more breath. And when you've completed that exhale, we'll step that foot back and to the floor for pyramid. So readjusting the legs until you find your comfortable position. So legs are on two different tracks. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. We'll lift the chest and we'll fold over that thigh. Grabbing blocks if you like. Thinking of lengthening through the spine. One more breath here. Looking forward, we'll 
TP onto those fingers and step the right leg back, finding runner's lunge. So lifting the collarbones, back leg is lifted, strong energy through that leg. And from here, we'll, get lizard, we'll take lizard lunge. So starting to walk the left toes out, we'll sink the right knee to the floor. And finding your lizard. So maybe staying up high, maybe we're turning the toes out to the left and maybe bringing the hand to the knee and opening through the chest. Great work. We've got one more breath here. And when you've completed that breath, we'll release that hand plants, left foot steps back, and we'll take one more vinyasa right here. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Let's take a few breaths here in our dog. So just settle in, reconnect. All right, I'm going to demonstrate. So we're going to take a dolphin pose. And if you haven't done dolphin before, you can just watch. Otherwise, feel free to get straight into your dolphin. But in dolphin pose, we'll start off on tabletop and then we'll take the forearms to the floor. So we want them about shoulder distance apart, spread through the fingers, pressing into the finger pads as we've done throughout class. We'll tuck the toes. Now we're going to lift the hips up to the sky. And this might be enough for you. So if you're staying here, that's perfectly fine. We wanna think straight away of energetically drawing those forearms together, but creating space in the shoulders. So we're not sagging in the chest. But if you want to get those hips a bit higher, we can start to walk the feet in. And we've got the crown of the head away from the floor. So if you feel like your head's dropping to the floor, come back. But the idea is here that we lift the head away from the floor and we press the chest towards the thighs. So we're really using the strength of those shoulders all that work we've done opening through the shoulders and chest, all that work we've done creating length in the hamstrings. You've got this, drawing the belly in, keep pressing into those forearms, pressing the chest towards the thighs. We've got three more breaths. And when you finish your last exhale, you can gently walk the feet out and sink the belly all the way to the floor. Great job. <laughs> That's not easy. All right, staying with those forearms on the floor, palms facing down, we'll take Sphinx here. So in Sphinx, the tops of the feet are pressing into the floor and we wanna lift the chest. So just checking in that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders, hands are shoulder width distance apart. And we're just lifting the collarbones, feeling a back bend here. Gaze is soft towards the mat. So watch that you're not looking out towards the sky and creating pain in the neck. So just gaze soft down towards your mat. We keep lifting the collarbones, drawing the shoulder blades gently towards each other. Getting lots of space through that spine, through the chest, shoulders. And when you're ready, we'll release that all the way down, cheek to the mat. Maybe bringing the hands alongside the body. And just take a moment here, gently sway the hips side to side. And we'll bring the hands back alongside the body, pressing ourselves up. This time we're going to take seal. So this is a bit of a deeper back bend. So if you'd like, you can take sphinx again if seal doesn't feel good. But if you'd like to give it a try, hands come to the outer edges of the mat, fingers turning out slightly, and we lift through the chest. So we're pressing into the tops of the feet. So we're still engaging through the legs. We're not sloppy or <laughs> loose with the legs. So engage those legs, pressing into the hands to lift the chest. Shoulders away from the ears. Three breaths here. And one more breath. When you're
you're ready, lowering all the way down to the floor and opposite cheek to the mat. Hands come alongside the body and maybe just gently rocking the hips side to side. And we're gonna roll over onto our backs. So however you'd like to get there, we'll take it onto our backs. And bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug, Apanasana. Maybe rocking side to side. And we'll release those feet all the way down to the floor. We'll take bridge pose here. So we'll have the feet firmly planted on the floor, hips width distance apart. And then we want to reach to see if we can feel the backs of our ankles and gently graze those heels. From here, we'll press into the feet and start to lift the hips on an inhale. Sweep it up, inhale, and then we'll drop the hips and lower all the way down. Hands come back toward the floor. Two more, just like that. Deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale again, all the way up. This time, option to bring the hands behind the back and interlace the fingers. And we start to shimmy ourselves, so we're coming on to the shoulders. So seeing if you can bring the shoulder blades together. And we draw the palms together, pressing those arms into the mat to lift the hips. So we're really engaged through the entire body here. So we're pressing firmly into the feet, especially into those big toes. The knees are gently drawing toward each other. So we want, want to make sure we're not splaying out through the knees. Drawing the belly in, seeing if we can lift the sternum. One more breath here. And gently releasing the hands and slowly lowering down one vertebrae at a time. Take the feet to the outer edges of the mat and then we'll just windscreen wiper the legs. One knee in and then the other. And coming back to our feet firmly planted on the floor, knees to the sky. We'll extend the right leg up and grabbing somewhere behind that leg. So wherever you can, could be here, could be here. And we'll gently start to draw that leg toward the chest and maybe extending left leg. Now just drawing that foot towards the back of the room or it could be the other side of the room, <laughs> but you wanna draw that leg toward you. One more breath. And then we'll cross that foot over and bring the right leg, right foot rather, onto the left knee, reaching the hands through in that figure four stretch, getting into that hip. Two more breaths. And when you've completed your exhale, release that all the way down to the floor. While we're here, we're gonna take a twist. So taking that right knee and then maybe shifting the hips over to the right and twisting over to the left. So the knee comes down toward the floor. Option with the right arm to take it out into a T-shape or a cactus shape. Here we're thinking of drawing the chest open. So we want to think about the shoulder drawing down toward the floor, gazing over to the right as the knee draws down toward the left. And we're not going for leverage here, so there's no need to press into that knee or jerk that knee into a deeper twist. Just let the body do the work when it's ready. One more breath. And very gently looking back to center and then unraveling the body. Coming back to feet flat on the floor. Left leg to the sky this time, flex through that foot, holding behind 
the shin or behind the thigh and then extending through the right leg if you like and drawing that leg toward us and really using this as an opportunity to slow down the nervous system so we're getting into some of these more passive stretches we can use this time to really come back to the breath and almost use this as a period of rest One more breath here. And we'll release that crossing the foot over and maybe reaching through to get a deeper stretch for that left hip. a lovely time in these postures at the end of class to notice any shifts in the body but also maybe even more importantly any shifts in the mind We've got one more breath gently releasing the hands we'll take the twist here so extending through that leg and then maybe shifting the hips over to the left as we draw the left knee over to the right and option to cactus the arm or t-shape and just gazing over that shoulder and really finding comfort before we settle in so if anything feels uncomfortable back off and adjust try something different very slowly unraveling the legs and coming back to center from here we're going to take the legs up to the sky so feet up towards the sky and we'll just dangle the legs for a moment here so you want to also sorry you rather so from here we're going to take the legs up to the sky so lifting the legs up and almost going for this sense of weightlessness in the legs so just letting them dangle in the sky slow breaths in and out through the nose more breaths here at the end of that final full exhale drawing the legs down toward the floor and setting up for Shavasana so feet come wide, arms come away from the body. We call this corpse pose, your final resting pose. Just starting by letting go of any control in the breath. So letting the breath return to its natural rhythm way it naturally moves in and out through the body. 
really starting to notice the firmness of the earth and how the body sinks toward the earth heavy and still. And the eyes become hollow. The area between the brows soft. And jaw soft. Feeling the rise and fall of the belly. Deep connection with the earth. I will leave you here in your Shavasana. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.